eu estou aqui com o Justin. Eu estou aqui com você. Eu gostaria de dizer congratulations porque foi um oh. great concert. E você parece muito conectado com a sua Did you like the Brazilian audience tonight? Oh, they were great. It was really lovely. And they made little balloons with LP1 on it. It was like, oh, they're so sweet. They're just, they're always lovely. Every single time I come here, they're just the best. Vocês ouviram, gente? Ela disse que adora vir ao Brasil. E eu não sei se vocês perceberam que tinha uns fãs com os balões roxos. Eram pra ela. Eu achei que era alguma coisa do, do Rock in Rio. Nada. Era tudo pra Joss Stone. E nós também vimos que você mudou seu seu set list durante o concerto por causa dos seus fãs. Isso é verdade? Você está sempre preparado para performar canções que não estão na sua lista? Não, man. Nós não estávamos preparados para essa. Mas eles continuaram dizendo... O que foi? O último para saber? And they kept saying it like really, really loudly, and I'm like, oh, God, I don't know if we know that one. And then we totally well, messed up the beginning, fun. but it doesn't matter. It's not important. As long as we sing okay. what they want to hear, then, then I'm happy, you know, and they're happy. So we don't mind. We don't mind ad-libbing a little bit. We might mess it up, but it's, ah, maybe you know that. But you have to be prepared, you know? Well, some say, some so would say, yes. Vocês ouviram, gente? Ela disse que ela realmente mudou o set list. Ela costuma fazer isso. Se os fãs realmente pedem, ela faz. Que às vezes sai um pouquinho errado, mas o que vale é a satisfação do público. E eles estavam perguntando muito alto, right? Sim, yeah, pretty loud. They were, yeah, they were great. I mean, I definitely, I couldn't really make out what they were saying, but my backing singers could, so I asked them. Yeah, então ela falou que eles realmente pediram alto, que deu, deu como ela escutar, ela conseguiu escutar o que eles pediram e acabou tocando o que eles pediram. And how did you get into soul music? Is it because of your voice tone? I don't know. I don't know. I think I just like it. You know, I mean, soul music is kind of a broad term. It could be, it could mean anything. It could mean reggae, hip hop, blues, jazz, whatever. All of those things can be soul music, but I just, I kind of got sunk into the blues kind of R&B side of it. Um, but I like to dabble in other pieces and other kind of styles of music, so I don't know. I just like it, I guess. Vocês ouviram então, né, gente? Ela disse que realmente ela foi pro soul porque ela gosta do ritmo. Ela poderia, poderia ter ido pro reggae, pro rock, pro pop, mas ela tá realmente dentro da soul music. Do you know anything about Brazilian music? Well, I've been given, actually, by one of my fans yesterday, a whole load of DVDs. And she's given me a leaflet, uh, not a leaflet, like, like a little book that she's made of the information on all of the Brazilian artists so that I can get to know them. Because I don't really know a lot. I need to kind of get involved. I know some bits and bobs because I've been here a couple of times before. So I've been out and danced around to all sorts of different styles of music that I've never been, you know, um, around in England. So that was cool. But... My education is, is carrying on, you know, it, it keeps on going. Every time I come back, it, I get more and more, so... Então, gente, ela tá falando que ela realmente não conhece muito de música brasileira. Ela já veio algumas vezes ao Brasil, conhece um pouco de samba, porque já ouviu falar. Mas ela recebeu um livrinho dizendo tudo sobre cada artista brasileiro para ela dar uma estudada e melhorar a cultura musical dela. You know that we have great um, soul singers here in Brazil. You must look for Tim Maia. Have you heard about him? Tim Maia. I think I have heard that name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Soulful? Soul, but he's dead already. Oh, and no. he's. No, but he's great, great, great. Oh, it's always the good ones that cop it, isn't it? Always the good ones that go first. Bugger. <laughs> and I, I'm going to ask you something about that. Um, have you. Uh, were you a big fan of um, Amy Winehouse because she was already uh, a great soul singer, yeah. British? Were yeah. you friends? She was awesome. I wasn't friends with her. I didn't know her very well. But I met her a couple of times and she was really sweet. She's just a lovely, sweet little girl. She's just really little and really petite and just really funny. Um, yeah. But I mean, I didn't, I can't say I knew her totally because I didn't. But yeah, no, her music will, will carry on. She won't really die because she's left that music and that will live forever and ever and ever because it was that good. You know, it wasn't just mediocre crap. I mean, her lyrics were like, you know, they, they were great. She, she was great. Yeah. I must translate now. Go I'm gonna go there. Yeah. Então, gente, ela tá falando que realmente ela já ouviu falar no Tim Maia, mas ficou triste de saber que ele já morreu. E ela falou que todos os ídolos morrem cedo. Eu acabei perguntando da Amy Winehouse, que também é uma cantora de soul. 
britânica, ela falou que não eram amigas, mas que ela conheceu algumas vezes, disse que ela era super engraçada, aquela pequena menina, e acha que a música da Amy vai continuar por aí. E now it's kind of a buzz um, in who is gonna be on the gap that Amy left in, uh, who's gonna fill the gap that Amy left, and they're saying about you, Adele, what do you no, think no, no, about no. that? I don't know. Nobody can fill that gap. And by the way, there isn't a gap. Her music is still present. No one can fill her gap. That no one is Amy Winehouse. There can't be another Amy Winehouse. There can't be another Janis Joplin. There cannot be another Jim Morrison. It's not possible. They were that great. The gap is never empty. It is what it is. They, it will live forever. Então, gente, eu perguntei pra ela também sobre a Amy Winehouse. Ela falou que realmente ninguém vai ocupar esse espaço da Amy, não tem espaço pra isso. Ela acha, inclusive, que não existe esse ato entre antes e depois da Amy, que todo mundo tem espaço e que não tem a Adele nem ela pra substituir. Tá todo mundo com espaço aí na mídia. E você tem uma song que Whatever Happened to Our Heroes? É isso? Eu gostaria de saber o que aconteceu. É o que aconteceu to Heroes? Uh -huh. uh -huh. I didn't write that song. That that was a um, a cover, but but you sang that. We know that, and we want to know what happened to your heroes. Nothing happened to my heroes. I don't have too many of them. Most of them die, though. Isn't that right? All the good ones, like I said before, you know, the the legends of our time, they always die. <laughs> and then they copy it, and it's very sad. But yeah. Então, gente, eu perguntei pra ela sobre uma música que ela canta, que na verdade não é uma composição dela, mas que ela tá sempre cantando, que é Whatever Happened to the Heroes. E eu perguntei pra ela o que, que aconteceu, a tradução da música, com os heróis dela. Ela falou que não tem muitos heróis, muitos ídolos, mas que a maioria morreu, que ela fica realmente triste e que as lendas sempre morrem. So, um, I would like to know now um, what everybody wants to know about Super Heavy. How does it feel to have a band with Mick Jagger? Pretty good. It's kind of nice to be part of something like that. I don't know why he asked me to do that, or Dave actually. Dave Stewart was the one that asked me. I'm still kind of in shock as to why they would have asked me, of all people, but no. They did, so there I am. I'm in a band. The fact I'm in a band is quite fun. Yes. I like to be in a band. You know, it's cool. The fact that Mick Jagger is in the band and Damien Marley's in the band, and you know, that makes it cooler, obviously. Uau. Então, gente, eu perguntei pra ela sobre a nova banda dela, Super Heavy, que ela divide com Demi Amalia e com Mick Jagger. Ela falou que não lembra como, mas um dia o Mick Jagger perguntou pra ela se ela queria fazer uma banda e que ela adorou ter uma banda, porque ela tem carreira solo, então ela tá achando o máximo e até hoje tá chocada. E, besides your musical career, you were an actress as well. Any films or TV series coming up? Um, nothing coming up, actually. I just kind of dabble. I do a little bit here and a little bit there and... You know, hope for the best. I'll probably do some more. I hope I do some more. But I don't really think I'm very good at it. Ah, <laughs> but you prefer singing than acting? I don't I didn't prefer it. I think it, they're both just as fun in completely different ways. I think I'm better at singing than I am acting. Ah. <laughs> but, you know, I'll give it a go. Yeah, why not? I like doing it. It's fun. Então, gente, eu perguntei pra ela porque, além de cantora, ela é atriz também, gente. Ela já participou de séries e filmes. Eu perguntei se tem algum projeto novo em vista. Ela falou que ainda não, mas que ela leva, assim, cantando, atuando e que ela acha que ela é a melhor cantora. So, thank you a lot. It was great to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're really good at the whole translation thing. Oh, cool. Okay. I'll try, I'll try to be. Are you uh, enjoy Stevie Wonder tonight? Yeah. He's on at one o'clock in the morning now. Yeah. I'm gonna have to stay up. Yeah. I need to figure this out. <risos> My whole band, like, oh, God, should we go back? No, 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 we're staying. Ah, então, gente, ela falou que adorou estar aqui com a gente no Multishow, que adorou, que falou que eu sou boa de tradução, <risos> eu tô tentando, e que vai ficar até o fim pra ver o Steve Wonder, vai ter que dar uma descansadinha pra poder ir.